These historic 35 millimeter paper positives copied in April 1959 are the original copyright registration copies filed with the Library of Congress by the Edison and Biograph Production Companies in the years 1897 to 1906. Here is the Philadelphia Express on the Jersey Central Line, photographed by the Edison Company in 1897. Near the close of the scene, watch for a Pennsylvania local that pulls onto the bridge above the Jersey Central. Here we see workers for the Lehigh Valley Railroad repairing track as the Black Diamond Express comes racing toward them. Watch the supervisors of the railroad workers waving white flags to alert the oncoming locomotive of the men working on the track. The film was shot by the Edison Company in 1902. This film was photographed at Kingston, New York on the West Shore Railroad by the Biograph Production Company in 1906. The film was taken from the engineer's point of view on an Ulster and Delaware locomotive near the Kingston Union Station. Watch for the man at the road crossings waving white flags to alert automobiles to the passing train. By 1906, the former West Shore Railroad had become a division of the New York Central and Hudson River. This biograph film is a continuation of the previous film, just a bit farther west on Ulster and Delaware track. Notice the Ulster and Delaware switcher engine on the right side track as the camera locomotive overtakes it near the water tower. This scene was taken on the famous Horseshoe Curve in Pennsylvania by the Edison Film Company in early 1900. Notice the extreme, seemingly endless curve that gives the Horseshoe Curve its name. In 1903, on Grand Trunk's main line between Canada and the United States, one of Biograph's early production crews rode the pilot of a locomotive from Sarnia, Ontario, to Port Huron, Michigan. Notice the illuminated interior of the tunnel and the lap dissolves at the entrance and exit of the tunnel. Motion picture historians generally agree that the lap dissolve was not discovered until some years later. This technique may have been used here for the first time.
In 1902, the Edison Company filmed this rare look at one of the early steam-powered rotary snow plows in operation battling against the heavy snow of New York State. The location for this scene, shot by Edison in 1903, seems to be the same as Edison's 1900 scene of the Black Diamond Express. But the train has grown by one car. On the opposite track, Edison's cameraman caught this scene of another Lehigh Valley passenger train being pulled by one of the road's famous Camelback locomotives. Filmed by Biograph in 1902, the Empire State Express is being pulled by the most famous of all 440 locomotives, the 999. This film, shot in 1903, used a very early special effect in which Biograph simply used a negative image of the Empire State Express, double printed with a positive moon and clouds. Shot in 1905 by Edison, a new and slightly longer Empire State Express is shown behind one of the Central's new 442 Atlantics. Notice how it replenishes its water supply on the fly from a water trough between the tracks. <laughs> 